three minute Friday maximum information in the shortest amount of time. Let's get started. How? Because many people know, of course, that I ride only a motorbike here, a scooter, because driving a car in Malta is kind of useful as watching paint dry. How do you transport a manju board? First thing is this one. I got this from AliExpress. It's a shoulder strap with two of these loop thingies here. You can adjust the length and you close the loops. And this is what you can use if you have only one bow to carry, which has no strap around. Then you put this here. This year you can shoulder your bow and you're good to go, but I usually don't use this. When I have to carry a long bow, which doesn't happen too often, I take one of these bags. I got it from Beerpa a long time ago, but you still can get them even from Malta Archery. You put your long bow in. Not so beneficial part is you see that these loops are so far apart that even if you want to shoulder this or put it around something, it's sliding down and touching the ground. So this is a little trick, mostly what I use. And this is the packing bag of an old gazebo. And this is so durable that I can put everything inside this bag. Take the Tiron. And I take the, my, my nice Choncoro. And of course I need arrows. The arrows mostly. I have these tubes for it, but you can find them everywhere in stationary shops and stuff like this. In case of the Taurus ones, they're still in the box. This is how I transport things on a bike. Like this. Like this. And this one is a tricky part, so you really need to make sure that the bow is not touching the ground. So I put it kind of like here. And then later I secure it here with my knee. It looks like this. Of course, I would always drive with a helmet. Works just nice. This is a big one, it's a little heavier, but it works kind of in the same way. I'd use it like a backpack, let it slide down on one side, and then you see the bow's angle out a little there. Even a long bow, look at this long bow here. No problem, it's not easy, but it's doable. This is how I do it. I'm sure there are 275.6 other versions how to carry your bows on the bike, but this one was for me uh, the most secure one. I have it on my back, even in wind and in heavier speeds, it's not a big thing. Of course you feel the drag, but it's normal in this bag really since almost 10 years does the best job for me. And then he was in the frame. I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.